Java plugin tasks. Building a Java application with Gradle is very easy. With Gradle 1.11 and later versions, simply use the command Gradle init and it will bootstrap a new Java project for you. Let's take a look again at the generated build.gradle file from this task from previous sections and explain it in a little more detail. Go ahead and run Gradle init. We'll create a fresh project. And look at what it created, a build.gradle file. Let's edit that. And we can see in here, we've got a apply Java plugin and some repositories and a few dependencies. Nothing very exciting here. Uh, it will always use the default source directories unless you specify it otherwise. So let's go ahead and run Gradle build. See what happens. All right, we can see the tasks compile, jarring, assembling, testing, all these things are being run. You can see that there are main tasks that are run as part of the project. Here's a basic rundown of all of them. Get this list by running Gradle tasks to get a list of them. All right, so here we can say we've got the init, creates a new blank project. We've got the wrapper, we'll generate wrapper code for the project. Now this allows the user to run without installing Gradle yourself. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. The Java plugin gives you a javadoc command, which will generate Java API documentation off of your source. It's also got some helpers. Uh, dependencies, it will display all the dependencies. So if you're having trouble resolving uh, conflicts with classes, this is very helpful. And there's also a dependency insight, which is also a newer option to even give you further depth in dependencies. And we've got help projects for sub projects properties, tasks, and we have options to verify the configuration with a check and then the test command. The goal of the plug Java plugin is to produce a jar file artifact. The plugin is essentially code that extends Gradle and allows to us to reuse services and functionality. Gradle plugins can also be written in any language that compiles down to bytecode. You can write Gradle plugins in Groovy, Java, or Scala. Imagine writing logic for your Groovy code and seeing it applicable to your Scala builds and not having to recompile or rewrite your plugin. Another thing that makes this cross-language, cross-project, cross-build ability very powerful is the plugins have access to common infrastructure of services and access patterns that allow us to not have to reinvent the wheel. The application of a plugin to a project is also idpotent. So no matter how many times you apply it to a project, you won't risk causing any unforeseen results. Enough about plugins, let's get back to the topic at hand. Testing is already part of the process, and if you don't have any tests, it will skip over that with a success message, although you really should write some tests. Next up, Lee will show you how to hook your build into Maven to bring in dependencies and to get your jar artifact out there.